Welcome to Stop Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good day. I would say I hope you had a good day in the market, but uh, not too many people did. Uh, here we go again. Uh, market down 1,100 points today. Not a good day at all. Um, I was not with you yesterday. Didn't have a chance to make a video yesterday. Uh, it was also down yesterday as well, so it's, it's had a rough go at it here lately. Uh, and uh, hopefully the dust is going to settle soon, but it wasn't showing any indication of that today. So we'll have to wait and see how things go from there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our portfolio and just see how that thing went today. And I'll bring you up to date on some trades that I made. So here's our portfolio. Uh, we've got uh, GBTC, QQQ, VTI, X, Pelotron, Navax, MPC, EXAS, CLF, and ACB. So GBTC, one of our green ones today, that's our Bitcoin trust. Uh, 15 cents. Um, let's see, we bought that at 11.56, so you can see we're down on that one. QQQ, another rough day for QQQ. Down $10.84. We are a long way uh, off on that one. It's now down $16 from where we bought it. We bought it at 21. So all of these have taken pretty big hits. There's another bad day for VTI, another ETF that reflects the market, um, 151, I think we were, we were in at 161 on that one, so rough day for that, here's X, um, X has gone below that $8 mark, I didn't buy any yet, haven't bought anything in, in the last two days, um, not sure I want to buy anything yet. I want to see this thing settle a little bit. Tomorrow it may settle down a little bit, but today, today really wasn't that bad for a while. And then towards the end of the day, it just, the bottom fell out. So sometimes that's a sign of things uh, kind of calming down. Usually the last little bit is where everybody just throws their hands up in the air and, you know, a lot of people that's going to sell, sell. So we'll see if that was a good, if that's what happened this afternoon. But there's not a whole lot going on as far as we know right now. So we're all guessing right now about what's going on with this virus. And this is all virus. Peloton. Peloton um, had a red day today, but not too bad. It held up pretty good. And I think it was kind of up in the after hours, but not a bad day. So uh, we're, not, we're not too displeased with that one. Now, Novavax. Novavax was another good day you can see this thing is already all the way up to 1180 and it's uh, actually let me pull that chart up on that one i want to tell you about some things i've done with this one here lately um so you see here this is thing was up to 1180 it was also up in, in after hours over over um uh 375 or something 1375 or 1325 i think it was yeah 1325 so it's, it's up in after hours. Um, so I've been doing some selling on this one. We, of course, we had some that we bought at seven ninety. dollars uh, sold those at eight forty seven dollars the other day. Uh, yesterday, I think it was. We sold those at eight forty seven dollars yesterday. Uh, of course, looking at the eleven eighty dollars now, you know, that doesn't sound too great. Um, but that's all right. Uh, you know, like we said, we take the winners when we can get them. Um, but we did sell that one. We sold that one at, uh, at that 8.47 mark Friday now. I mean, uh, that, the stuff we bought Friday. But I've holding, I'm holding this in, in uh, both of my other accounts. This is one I've been holding for a, a test for something called nano flu. But this virus thing has really just made this thing go crazy. So I'm having a hard time holding it. I've sold two-thirds of my holdings on it because of the, the way it's gone up so crazy here lately. So got to take that money when it starts coming. The news has not come out yet. That news could make this thing double in a day or it could knock it down in half in a day. So, but 
when you start getting this kind of money uh, on these things every day, and this thing has been going up crazy every day, uh, let's just take a look at that real quick. Hang on, I'll pull that chart up for us. On a, let's take a look at this uh, five-day chart on this thing. Take a look here. Let's see. Last Friday, we were at 774 on this thing. And today, like I said, 1180, we actually closed at, um, in after hours, I think it was 1327, I want to say. So uh, that's just uh, something where you have to start selling. You can't wait for the news on this other thing. I can't. I've got, I've got a third left. Uh, depending on how things go tomorrow, I may be getting rid of those as well. But I've sold them all the way from that uh, 847 that we sold the other ones. Uh, I've sold them for 975, 10, uh, 1117. Today we sold them for 1175 in the pre-market. Uh, sold in the market to 1250, 1260. And then uh, sold some in after hours at $13. So uh, this thing's moving like crazy. And so we got to take that money. And we've been taking it. So we've got a lot of cash on the sideline, which is great. Uh, actually, have had a decent week considering what the market's doing. So that's, that's, a, that's a blessing for sure. Uh, so we are just thrilled to death that we were holding this much of that, of that stock. Uh, but we were not holding it. We're not holding it for this reason here. We had no clues that this virus was going to come, but they are working on it. They are working on that uh, virus. Um, you know, they're working on a virus. Uh, you know, drug for that. Novax is working on advanced uh, coronavirus vaccine. So you see here, and so are competitors. So we ne we never know who's going to be the Who's going to be the one? And so that's a danger that you, you've got to consider. Botox too, and they're going up crazy like this. You just, you, you've got to consider all those things. First of all, it could be, and you know, it could be this news comes out on this other thing and it, and it's not good. So that would just put us in a bad spot altogether. So going to be selling this one. If we have another good day tomorrow, we probably will be selling out. And, uh, but at the same time, this thing gets back down around 10, we may go ahead and purchase some more shares again. So uh, we're going to play that by ear. There's a whole lot of other stocks that are down right now. Um, just uh, tons, everything in the market pretty much is down. Some of them are just ridiculous as far as the price goes on them. Uh, look at here at uh, our next one here, MPC is down to 47.93. Another 8% day and uh, this is oil that's causing that so that's going to be something we're going to probably start doubling up on. Uh, EXAS looks like the dust finally settled on that one. Uh, we bought it 88 and 86 something so uh, we're, we're sitting down there a long ways from even and we're pretty much a long ways from even on everything we're holding right now because of what's been going on in this market, except for this Novavax, which has saved our day. So, uh, as far as my portfolio is concerned, uh, we did sell that one. So, uh, we did make our um, we did make our um, goal of buying and selling this week. So, we bought some things, we've sold some things. So, um, that's awesome. Uh, I didn't think we were going to get anything sold this week. Uh, this this Novavax has taken off again this week, so uh, we got lucky there. So we're we're good with that. We'll we'll take it. Uh, but the rest of them are down. If it weren't for that, we'd be in some pretty bad, sad shape, just like everybody else right now. But this is this is opportunity time. This is time. Uh, the market's down ten percent, you know. So this is this is in correction territory. This is this is the opportunities. You jump on these when you start seeing those. Uh, so let's go over back to look at our uh, after hours and uh, pre-market for tomorrow. Let's take a look at some of that and see what's going on there real quick here. Okay, the Dow, as you can see here, was down 1190. This guy's face right here says it all. I mean, look at that face. That just tells you, I'd hate to be doing that for a living uh, for with other people's money. I don't mind doing it with mine, but 
doing it with it. It's other people's money will cause that right there. <laughs> uh, Dow plunges 11 1100 points, bringing the decline to a record high to 10 more, 10 more percent, to high to more than 10 percent. Uh, I heard uh, today, I was watching CNBC, and they were talking about a stock that had gone from a 52 week high down to a 52 week low in two weeks. That's incredible. I, I wished I was paying a little bit more attention and, and would would have captured the stock that they were talking about because uh, that would be something maybe you might want to think about getting into. All right. So, um, as you see, red all over the place today. So, oil. Let's take a look at oil. Oil's down again. Even tonight it's down. So, this is this is uh, not good either. This is not going to be good for the markets. Uh, Pre-market, we're in the red as well. Uh, we were green actually a while ago, so uh, we have come back into the red territory on that. Um, my thinking was, by the way the market closed today, I was talking to a friend of mine, um, the, way, the way it closed today, I was thinking maybe this thing going to open pretty red in the morning and then claw its way back into some decent even territory hopefully for the end of the week but uh, we may have another bad bad day you just don't know you don't know about this but uh, it may be time uh, you know we bought the first two days of the drop we didn't buy yesterday we didn't buy today uh, I want to see a little bit of this settle down a little bit before I start buying a lot but it's getting hard not to buy with, with what you're seeing here uh, Here's the, here's the bottom line, and I was talking to another friend of mine t t tonight about this. If you buy some of these good companies, this time next year, you're more than likely going to be making money on that purchase. Uh, I don't have any doubts about that. Or, or at least two, let's, let's go two years out. That, that's fine with me as long as it goes up. But these, this is getting to some territory where, you know, you're going to buy something and it may go down another month or two, but you give it a year or two, and this stuff is back up in the winning territory, and you, you've made some pretty decent money. So uh, this is a time to start looking for what you want to start purchasing if you have the cash. And uh, we, we've got plenty of cash now. We've made some sales of this Novavax, so that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. Uh, not sure what I'm going to buy yet. I think I'll probably pick up some of the NPC for sure because that's one of my favorites. Uh, EXAS looks like the dust may have settled on that one, so I may maybe get into that. Probably won't be doing too much with anything else right now. Maybe some of the, I may do some uh, another ETF. Uh, I think it's SPY. Uh, that's an S&P uh, ETF. I may I may purchase some of that, and then I may add to these other QQQ and this uh, VTI. We're gonna play it by ear. We're gonna see what this thing does tomorrow, but. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. You just got to hang in there and uh, look for opportunities to buy and just ride out the, the rest of it. It's, it's a little tough, but it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. All right, well, I hope you have a great day of trading tomorrow. And uh, we'll try to get back on here tomorrow night sometime with a video. Just talk about our week and talk about our game plan going forward. And uh, just maybe talk about the market in general. All right, well, you have a great rest of your night. And uh, if you haven't, if you haven't, subscribe please do uh, don't forget to like the videos as well and uh, share it with your friends uh, have a great day and we'll talk to you tomorrow night thanks bye